Hi everyone, this is Justin White here, and today I'll be presenting on the life cycle of Chinook salmon. So, what is a Chinook salmon? Well, Chinook salmon are the largest of the five Pacific salmon species. They are anadromous, meaning they live at sea but return to rivers to spawn. They really do spend most of their life in the ocean, and only a brief, short period of time in the river, laying their eggs before they die. They are native to California, Oregon, Idaho, Washington, Canada, and Alaska. They can range anywhere from 5 to 110 pounds, but the average salmon, for Chinook anyways, averages around 20 pounds. The uh, graphic here on the left shows the effective range that salmon can inhabit, and this is all of the extent of their native range, but they have been transplanted to other regions such as New Zealand, South America, and the Great Lakes. Pictured here on the right are two very large Chinook salmon, over 110 pounds. Why are Chinook salmon important? Chinook are extremely important to the culture and livelihood of Native Americans. Certain Chinook populations are listed as endangered under the Endangered Species Act. And that information was retrieved from NOAA Fisheries Council. They do a lot of work with Chinook salmon. In California alone, they generate $351 million for a combined sport and commercial harvest, according to FishBio. They are extremely important to the surrounding ecosystems of the rivers and ocean. The life cycle at a glance. They start as an egg, then they turn into an albin, then a fry, then a par, then a smolt, then an adult, and then a spawner. Life cycle broken down. They begin as an egg laid in the gravel. They hatch and then become an alvin, living in the gravel, consuming their egg sac before they are ready to emerge. They emerge as a fry and live in the river, feeding on insects. While they are a fry, they also go through the par stage, slightly older than fry, but still have not gone, undergone smoltification. When they are ready, they turn into a smolt and begin their migration out to sea. Once they reach the ocean, they slowly transform from smolts to adults. They live in the ocean for one to six years until seasonal signals tell them it is time to return to the river from which they came to spawn. They find their way back to their home river using magnetic field and scent. A fun note is that in certain cases, Chinook salmon may only have a 1% survival rating from the time they hatch from the egg to the time they return to their home river. The female salmon digs a nest or red with her tail in the gravel to lay her eggs in. The male fertilizes them, and immediately after them, the female buries them in the gravel to protect them. They both die shortly after due to exhaustion, thus completing the salmon's life cycle. However, their journey does not end right there. The ecosystem around the rivers rely on the salmon carcasses heavily. Salmon, when they are alive, also help a lot of predators, such as eagles, seals, otters, ospreys, and killer whales. Their dead carcasses provide important nutrients, such as fertilizer for streamside vegetation and food for carrion eaters, such as turkey vultures. That is my short but brief recap on the life cycle of a Chinook salmon. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.